Welcome back to Outside the Levees. I'm actually hanging out inside the levees for today's video, and I'm starting it off here at today's catch in Shelmet, Louisiana. We got a Mardi Gras parade tomorrow, and I need to get some crawfish to cook for the Mardi Gras parade. It's not quite time to catch wild crawfish yet, so the easiest thing to do is to come to a place like today's catch, and luckily here, when you visit St. Bernard, we got lots of seafood spots like this. But honestly, this is one of the best ones you're gonna find when you come to St. Bernard. Let's go check them out. There he is. Look at here. <laughs> this lady here, I got to say this, is the most, one of the most faithful today's catch yes. customers that we have. She gets a 20 pounds of live crawfish every Saturday. <laughs> that must be like a vitamin for you, huh, Miss Rose? I mean, I mean, so back here, look, this is the back of the house. This is where all the work is done. Jeffrey, Jeffrey's got some, some beautiful local shrimp. Get ready to ball up. Some beautiful 1620s, 1015s. Kevin's here. Get ready to get some, some crabs going. Kevin, look at those crabs, man. This is crabs straight from uh, St. Bernard Parish. Uh, we, we try to, to stay with everything local as much as we possibly can. You look over here, Curtis is cutting a uh, pond-raised catfish up that goes into the kitchen. It's actually being fried uh, for orders as they coming in. All right, well that's what I came here for, the crawfish. We got the Mardi Gras parade tomorrow. Nothing's gonna be better with that than a bunch of crawfish. I'm gonna do them three different ways, so make sure Y'all stick around the whole video so you get to see all the different top three ways I cook crawfish. Then if you come over here and see, we offer varieties, different varieties of cooked seafood to go. It's a one-stop shop, man. You know, we're here for 38 years. That must, must tell you something. We must be doing it right. We sure try, and most of all, we sure appreciate it. All right, so when you come to visit St. Bernard, make sure you come to today's catch. I promise it is one of the top best places you're going to be able to get fresh seafood, whether you get it to cook or you get it already cooked. They have it. So let me go in the back, get my crawfish, and get everything ready for this Mardi Gras parade tomorrow. All right, y'all, well, before we get started cooking all them crawfish, I stopped here at the Knights of Nemesis headquarters. This is where it all goes down. They're getting ready, getting the floats loaded up with all of the throws. They're having a good breakfast. The band's playing. It's Mardi Gras, y'all. It's all about having a good time. We started our parade. Uh, 2004 was the year we decided that we were going to rock. But what we love is that exactly, just seeing the people out on the streets having a good time. Um, we enjoy it. We try to keep our community together. You'll see people out on the street, boiling crawfish, on the grill, and doing all that thing during the day. And um, it's such a great time. Everybody brings their family and kids. In fact, we even have kids that ride in our Mardi Gras party, so it's a really good time. That's good. All right, what you got there? So anyway, we have uh, Knights and Nemesis branded throws. We have Frisbees, uh, footballs, and then we have our signature uh, spear and Knights of Nemesis sword, of course. Oh, what you say, son? <laughs> How about that? Hey, what you say? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so you heard it. This is a great Mardi Gras parade to come to with the family. If it was me and I was planning my trip to St. Bernard for next year, I would go ahead and allot a few days to fish, to crab off the public pier, and also to come to the Mardi Gras parade and dine at our awesome restaurants in St. Bernard. So come see him at the Knights of Nemesis. All right, y'all, we at mother-in-law's house and we cooking. It's Mardi Gras, everybody's here, so it's gonna be noisy, but that's the whole point of Mardi Gras. All right, so I'm gonna start with two dishes um, that actually kind of have the same base. I'm gonna start with a crawfish Monica base and a crawfish bread base. And they're basically the same up until about the halfway point. So I'm gonna show y'all how we do it. All right, we're gonna get two sticks of butter melted down in this pot, two full sticks of butter that you're gonna melt down. All right, next we're gonna drop in our Holy Trinity. I got mine pre-chopped because I'm ready to go to the parade. I don't wanna spend my time chopping best. All right, this is onion, celery, and bell pepper all going in. Put that down for a little while so those onions are nice and soft. We got Luke watching the video. There he is, that's my nephew Luke. Y'all remember Luke from the crabbing video? Luke's ready to go get some more crabs. All right, so that's been cooking about 10 minutes. Now it's time for the main ingredient, some crawfish tails. And these are not from another country. These are from the United States. 
Which, if you like to use the foreign ones, that's fine. Go ahead, but we went ahead. We know that the guys at Today's Catch use the good stuff. So we got it from them. I got three packs of this. They're one pound packs. All right. Stir that up. All right, so that wound up being one and a half containers of the onions, the bell pepper, and the celery. Wow, that's beautiful. You like that? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's cooked for about 10, 15 minutes. So now what we want to do is separate it. We want about a third of what's in there to go into this bowl that already has about half a packet of softened cream cheese. So get yourself, like I said, about a third of what's in there on top of this cream cheese. This is for the crawfish bread right here. Okay, what's gonna be left in the pot is for the crawfish Monica. All right, so I'm gonna finish working on the crawfish Monica first, which is a delicious crawfish pasta with some cream and some cheese. So next, now that we've got that, we wanna add some parsley. Let's kinda see how much we need here. I like parsley. I like. I think it makes for a pretty dish. We'll add a little bit more. All right. Okay. Some parsley. I got a whole lemon here. I'm gonna squeeze into it. Mm. Then I'm gonna add half and half, probably about half a cup. There's a lot of liquid in there. Is that milk? Um, it's called half and half. Ooh, look how pretty that is, Jack. Look how pretty that is. It looks prettier is, on the camera. It looks prettier on the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so I got my boy Hot Rod. This is Hot Rod's Creole seasoning. Go check him out. HotRodsCreole.com. And we want to season the whole dish with this. This is, you know, like a typical Creole style seasoning, but from a guy who lives right here in St. Bernard. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and drop in. This is two packages of the rotini oh, pasta. Rotini pasta, two packages. Start it. dropping that in. That so Start dropping in your rotini. I really wanna show you so bad. Okay, oh, we're not done yet, bro. All right, got that fairly mixed up. Go ahead and start dropping in some shredded Parmesan Actually. cheese. Shredded Parmesan cheese. Use the whole thing. And some shredded mozzarella cheese. Do we already use this? Oh boy, crawfish Monica coming right up. All right, so that's your crawfish Monica, that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish the crawfish bread. It's crawfish season, y'all and it's Mardi Gras. All right, now this is gonna be our mixture for the crawfish bread, okay? So this needs some grated Parmesan cheese. Make sure you can see it, okay, Jack? Some grated Parmesan. Keep, no, no, keep going. Some mozzarella. Green onions. Keep them that, right? And some red bell pepper. All goes, this one's for the crawfish bread, okay? This is all gonna get melted down into some delicious crawfish bread. Okay, do a little bit more Parmesan. I think that's looking pretty good, y'all. All right, next is to get it in the bread. All right, now, so for my crawfish bread, I was looking around on YouTube for an easy crawfish bread recipe, and I found one using the Pillsbury Crescent dough, and y'all know I like the Pillsbury pizza dough. So there's a channel called Coop Can Cook. So Coop Can Cook, this is definitely your idea. I appreciate it. She got two of these crescent doughs and put them together, okay? So you, you, you kind of mash two together. Can you see good there, Jack? And then you go in with your crawfish stuffing, okay? Mama, you get an egg wash for me? All right. And then what she did, what I thought was really cool, you cut these, you getting this? She got these cuts in there, and that's gonna help us wrap up the whole thing. Isn't that cool? So shout out to her, Cook and Cook. Very good channel about cooking, go check her out. Okay, make us a good end here. 
Right? Wow is a good word. Let's do that over. Alright, next we're gonna put some egg wash on top. Paint it down with egg wash real good. Uh, so now that's gonna go into the oven for 350. We'll let it go 20 minutes and then we'll give it a look. Alright, let's check out that crawfish bread. Oh, 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 oh. Time to hard in St. Bernard, y'all. We got it hard down here. Look at that. Look at that. I don't even know what to say right now. Jeez. All right, we're going to let it cool off, but I've got to try that here pretty soon. All right, crawfish bread coming through. Kids coming through. Who's going to catch the most beads? I'm going to smoke all of y'all. All right, we at the parade. The crawfish bread is done. Let's try it out. Oh my God. Ridiculous. All right, so that's the number two way to cook crawfish. Let's catch the parade, get some beads, get some good stuff, and then we'll figure out the number one way to cook crawfish when we are done. Okay, ready? Alright, let's do that. Okay. That's good. That's right. good. That's my beautiful wife, Tia. She never wants to be on my show. Here she is eating my crawfish bread. Mm -hmm. What you think? She always gives me honest opinions. It's messy. It's supposed to be messy. It's delicious. Everything's delicious. <laughs> we at CrossFit Chalmette, so if you do come to visit St. Bernard, you need a good place to work out. Come see him at CrossFit Chalmette. Is it? Is what? Kid friendly. It's kid friendly. We got a kids class. We back here. We about to cook some crawfish and you guessed it the number one way to cook crawfish is to boil them It just don't get no better people all around the world right now are paying premium money to eat boiled crawfish And we got it right here in Louisiana where these crawfish are from right after a wonderful Mardi Gras parade So we getting everything set up Let's get cooking. All right, so what we did so far we fill up we put them in here how many times you did this? Twice? This is my third time right yeah. now. So what we do is we fill it with water, okay? With nice fresh water out the hose. And what that does is it gets some of the mud off of the body of the crawfish and also helps them to kind of like get the fresh water through their system and get some of the, the mud and, and less desirable stuff out. All right. Then we got the and we pull the plug. And that's it, let it drain. Looking good. And you'll repeat that process until that water is pretty clean. All right, and just like we did for that pasta, we're going with our buddy Hot Rods Creole one more time. He makes his own seafood boil mix. Hot Rods a smart dude, knows how to do it, and that's who we're using. 
one pack of this from one sack of crawfish. We're also going to do some corn and potatoes and mushrooms. It'll cover it all. All right, Troy's got his onions and his celery in. I'm going to add the hot rods. people traditionally will use lemon juice but I like pineapple juice we're just about ready so we're gonna add some pineapple juice The top three ways to cook crawfish. We got crawfish Monica, crawfish bread, and of course, good old fashioned bald crawfish. Now can we eat it? Of course we can. Yay! Everybody dig in. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to play in your trip to St. Bernard, leave me a comment. Let me know what you need to know about St. Bernard. I'll help you out the best I can, and we'll see y'all soon. Oh, no.